Your project for Chapter 13 is a clinical trials research presentation. And so what I'm going to have you do is go to this website and we'll pull that up. So here we are at the website and I can search for studies. This is what the website looks like. It's clinicaltrials.gov and I can search for different studies based on whatever I'm interested in and it kind of needs to be something health related because that's what this database is. So we want to look at say one of my interests, meditation, and I put it in quotes. Probably didn't need to because it's only one word. So I'll put just I'll just try it and see what we have on meditation. See if that gives me anything. And then you can see here as I'm looking at these studies that came up in the list active, not recruiting, completed, completed. I'm looking for one that says completed and has results. So I'm going to keep going down and then I can go to the next page. Completed, active, not recruiting, completed. I see some that are, hmm, nothing yet. And it says that there's more, so I'll look at the next page. Maybe we'll get lucky. So I might have to change my idea if I can't find any results. I need them with results. So there are many, but I'm not seeing any with results. All right, let's look for something else because this is going to not give us results. We need results. Um, how about smoking and diet? Okay, and so I can see here that the, this is says it's active, not recruiting, but it has results. So that's one that I could look at and, and see if, if it was interesting to me. I can just search until there's something that I find interesting to me. Diet. There we go. Okay, so I was interested in, in diet and what studies were out there on that. And so I can see number two here is completed and has results. And it says efficacy and acceptability of low residue diet package as diet control before colonoscopy. So I could look at that one if I was interested in that. Impact of dietary intervention on weight change in subjects with type 2 diabetes. I'm a little more interested in that. And it says completed and has results. So I have to check for that first. And then I can click on the actual study and it's going to give me a bunch of information about the study. It says the study is finished it tells you right at the start who sponsored it and it's telling you who's providing the information and no, Novo Nordisk that sounds like a drug manufacturer so I'm not sure but here it says purpose it tells me a little bit about the diet and what they're trying to do with diabetes the study type interventional that means they did something and you can see how they chose participants. It says randomized and you can see um, primary purpose is treatment and then it tells more here. And this is important for us because these are the things we're looking at. So a 26 week randomized controlled open label multi-center multinational treat to target trial investigating. Okay, treat to target trial investigating the impact of dietary intervention on weight change and the relationship between weight change and the baseline body mass index in subjects with type 2 diabetes inadequately controlled on oral anti-diabetic drugs. So they're taking insulin, it's not helping, <clears throat> and so they would like to try um, this, this intervention. All right. So you can read on and find out more about this study. The primary outcome measures, that's what they were looking for. And then secondary measures are changes that they, that they wanted to check but weren't the main things that they were interested in. And when it started, when it finished, you can see what they're looking at, who was helping and then who was allowed in the study. They had to be 18 or older. They had both genders. 
and they didn't take anyone healthy because they wanted people with type 2 diabetes that was not being controlled by the oral medications. So you have to keep all that in mind. Here's what you had to do to be eligible and here's how oops, if you if you had any of these things they would cut you from the study they weren't going to use you then let's see there's a little bit more information so do you see how I'm kind of trolling through this report to find out what what the study was about how they set it up all those sorts of things and then here's more information about all the places where they where they performed the study it looks like and then scroll back up a little bit there's other tabs so this is the full text view so that's the complete report we can just click to study results and see what they found and so you're looking for something that tells you whether it was helpful or not and you can see here this table participant flow they started with the dietitian they either had a dietitian or a control group okay that's good um, and the ones that continued on and completed that they had 246 and 242 that completed several who didn't and here's the reasons that they withdrew um, you can see their baseline characteristics how they looked at the start I don't expect you to be a medical doctor I just want you to play one on TV and and then look at the data so we have some ethnicities for the the data and we can see their heights and weights and both for the dietitian group and the control group and then outcome measures so here's what we're wondering show outcome measure one and it's going to tell me what happened change from baseline in body weight estimated mean change from baseline after 26 weeks of treatment so they measured week 0 and week 26 and there was no safety they were just checking their weight and here's the, all the participants that they analyzed and here's the change in their body weight that they found so the control group versus the treatment group the treatment group was working with the dietitian and you can see a bigger change based on the group that they were in and so this is 1.05 so it's, they are losing a pound or it's a kilogram so the units are in kilograms so there these the people who met with the dietitian lost a pound plus or minus 0.23 pounds and the people who were in the control group lost half a pound plus or minus 0.23 pounds so it looks like the ones who went with the dietitian had a bigger weight loss and they might have it in text here but you can look at each outcome measure and figure this out and so you just want to read through and here's 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 things to help direct your study of this study that you're looking at you want to be able to summarize the study tell us why we should care about it and for mine it, I think it's easy because I can say well if you're if you're using diet to control diabetes then um, it's going to be a lower cost intervention than all the medications that we have to use for diabetes and hopefully healthier for the patient as well and then what type of study so in the one I was looking at that was randomized controlled and summarize the results we looked at the results at least one result we could look at several and give a summary of that that the patients who met with the dietitian lost a, a pound whereas the patients who did not lost only half a pound or a kilogram I'm sorry and then you want to make a five minute PowerPoint presentation to share your clinical study with the class. So to clarify just a bit, I do want you to make a PowerPoint to hold all your data, but don't make your slides super busy. Just put a couple of top, a couple of lines on each slide and then you fill in all the details in what you say. I do want you to capture this on video somehow, either with your cell phone camera or if you have two computers, you can hold one up like this. Make sure you hold it really still so that the um, camera can focus on it. Or if you have some kind of uh, capturing software, like I use Camtasia or you could use um, Windows Live, there's different capturing programs you could use. Something to capture 
the presentation and you presenting it. So you don't have to have your face there the whole time, but I do at least want to hear your presentation and see you at least for part of it and then see your presentation as well. So you will be sending me not your PowerPoint, but you'll be sending me a link to a YouTube video that is you presenting your PowerPoint to the class. And what I'm going to do is when you send it to me, as long as there aren't any glaring errors in it, then I will post it for the rest of the class to view. And that way people can see a big body of research that's being summarized. So it'll be very interesting for all of us. Um, and be sure you include all of this information in your video. And then remember, nobody but you probably has, has seen the study that you are going to be presenting. So make sure that you give background information and teach it to us like we don't know anything about it because we probably don't know anything about it. And feel free to include any other information from other sources or wherever you need to kind of fill out your presentation. And this counts as a grade, so make it good and dress for success.